For OJ's trial of the century was the Von Bülow case with its mix of high society, money, sex, and attempted murder charges. It was a case that drew international attention, a book and a movie as people wondered about the fate of a beautiful heiress who lay in a coma. Now comes word that the woman at the center of it all has died. She was the socialite heiress who lapsed into a coma 28 years ago and triggered two of the most sensational trials of the 1980s. Martha Sonny Von Bülow was 47 when Rhode Island prosecutors accused her husband Klaus of injecting her with massive doses of insulin. Klaus Von Bülow went on trial in Newport, Rhode Island today, charged with twice trying to murder his wife. The allegation, he wanted to inherit Sonny's family fortune and marry his mistress. The first trial made international headlines with Von Bülow, aristocratic and aloof, painted by prosecutors as a clever gold-digging murderer. Von Bülow sat emotionless in the courtroom as the verdict was read. The jury finds the, the defendant, Klaus Von Bülow, guilty. But it was Von Bülow's appeal that made Hollywood take notice. Your Honors. You may not like Klaus von Bülow. And in a second trial, von Bülow was acquitted. How do you find guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Von Bülow, facing a civil suit by Sonny's two children from a previous marriage, gave up any claim to his wife's fortune, valued between 25 and 40 million dollars, divorced her, and moved to London. Sonny Von Bülow, who never regained consciousness, lived out her days in a Manhattan nursing home where fresh flowers were always placed at her side. Sonny Von Bülow was 76.